so welcome back to the channel everybody today we're in unboxing the Addis Dive MYH2 uh, this is a automatic pilot watch that I picked up for the startling price of £39.72 pence and can still be picked up at that price and that was including tax and delivery let's get into it so I'll give the usual advice which is I have opened the box um, but only to check that it was the correct watch um, just in case I had to send it back I didn't want the shock of that being on camera so let's get into it so the usual Addis Dive packaging which are these really robust cases I have to say I was incredibly impressed that having ordered it on the 23rd of August it was here within a week and without further ado there you go isn't that nice Okay, let's do the usual. So we've done Eddie's dive reviews before. Um, you do get a bracelet adjusting tool. Um, there is a manual. Never, never read them. Um, there's a little bit of paper in there. Not sure what that's for. And a unsigned warranty card. Um, interestingly, I did note in the description for this that it did say um, this is a three-year warranty can't imagine that's true but that's what it said on the advert so um, that's what we're going with um, let's get the packaging out of the way and back to the star of the show so we're going to do the taking the plastic off let's laugh at the gorilla as he takes plastic off a watch um, but we have a hand tag, we have quite a well wrapped watch actually. Um, this is a 39mm pilot watch. The lug to lug is 48mm. It's really thin at 12mm um, and is on fairly standard 20mm lugs as well. Um, fairly simple, what I think of as a Flieger Type A style dial. Um, there is a date complication at the three o'clock um, but apart from that it's fairly simple it says Addy's dive above the pinion uh, and we then have automatic 200 meters below the pinion I'm always slightly worried about pilots watches with 200 meters of um, water resistance because they really shouldn't be diving the planes that deep it's a little bit iffy to be honest um, but it does come with a screw down crown uh, which you may be able to see is branded with the Addy's Dive brand um, and the back which has I think of it as the Addy's Dive Diver but it's basically a flipper as a snorkel and um, and it has a reasonable weight to it it's on this I'm going to call it Jubilee style bracelet it is a Jubilee style bracelet it's brushed um, has let's just get this open maybe unsurprisingly but quite a secure but it is a fairly cheap pressed clasp um, we may have to do something about that ok right here's the fun part let's watch the gorilla doing plastic so we seem to, <laughs> seem to have a surfeit of hang tags there was one attached to the back of the case um, M1 attached here, let's just get that one off there we go, got there eventually didn't we um, so what can I say about this, um, I think the first thing I probably would say is that the bracelet is a little on the thin side um, it, it's fairly, it's clear, clear that it's done on a budget um, although having said that, I mean it's a press class but it does have micro adjust um, I suppose the bit that I am still stunned about, and I'm not, if I'm honest, I don't quite know how they do this, um, but this has the NH35 movement in it, um, it has sapphire crystal with anti-reflective coating on it, um, and it has a bracelet that, well, it's not the best in the world, um, but it's not terrible, it has 200 metres of water resistance, this is just witchcraft. I can't think of any other way of saying it. It's just witchcraft. How do you do that? How do you buy an H35 movement, put it in a brushed stainless steel case um, with basic but good finishing, 
Um, how do you do that with a screw down crown, a screw down case back, um, and all of that, and send it to me halfway across the world for 40 quid? How? How do they do that? I just don't get it. I really don't. Um, so that is the watch. Um, we're going to set the time, so bear with me a second. Let's see if the mechanism is okay. Um, fairly smooth. Actually, unscrewing that is fairly smooth. I'm quite impressed. Uh, let's just set the time to, believe it or not, it is 11 minutes past 11. And let's just set it at 11 minutes past 11. I'll sort the date out. Let's just make sure that the... Yeah, it's working. I've gone past, hang on. It's the second of May. This is just so much fun doing on camera. So actually the function of the watch is pretty good. Um, it's just... It winds nicely. No friction. There's no there's no graininess or no sort of crunching in that. So let's just tighten that up so that it is screwed down properly. There we go. Um. Yeah, I'm at a bit of a loss at this one. I have to say, I don't know how they do it. I just don't know how they do it. Um, let me know what you think. Let me know how the, you think they managed to do this. I paid 30 quid for the um, quartz um, sub homage um, that they do, and I've got a green one and a uh, black one as well. Um, and I thought those were good on price. This kind of kicks those into the long grass, really, doesn't it? I mean, for an extra £9... Let me take it off. But for a, an extra nine pounds, what's going on with the focus? Um, for an extra nine pounds, they've given me sapphire crystal and an NH35 movement. Just staggering. Um, if anybody else can think of a watch for better value at forty pounds, let me know. This is the best one that I've come across. So that's it for today. Um, let me have your thoughts. If you haven't, please subscribe. Um, feel free to like and comment this video. I'm um, going to wear it for a couple of weeks, see what I think, um, and then I'll come back to you. Um, I may stick it on a leather strap, and I may test the loom out just to see how it goes. Um, but other than that, have a fantastic week. We but other than that, have a fantastic weekend, everybody, and we'll see you again soon. Take care. Okay, so I did threaten to do this. So I've put it on a relatively cheap and sort of slightly thinnish Zulu dive leather strap, and it's just fantastic. Um, I, I'm lost for words. This wasn't an expensive strap, um, um, and it is quite thin, raw leather. Um, that's unusual, um, but that's astonishing. Um, that is a fantastic watch. Um, so that's your challenge folks um, please tell me if you know of a better watch for 40 quid than this I don't I genuinely don't Sapphire Crystal NH35 200 meters water resistance date complication sling it on a decent leather and you have a fantastic pilot's watch um, let's have a look to see if the loom is any good ok so this is the loom shot um, I think we can safely say that is spectacularly good. Um, so there's the throwdown challenge um, for 40 quid. Show me a watch that's better than this. Um, I can't think of one. This is absolutely outstanding. Absolutely outstanding. So I'll give you a couple of minutes of the loom so we can see how it fades. <laughs>